Bro, why are you so sad? Why are you so glum? What happened to you, man? Because you told everyone to delete their apps on the me? home screen I, and now my home screen is looking like a mess. You, Look at bro. this. All it's all your you, fault. What? Me? No, It's no, your man. fault. Of course it's Listen, your fault. Oh, what do you okay, mean? Okay, I did say that. 100% it's yeah, your fault, man. All you need to do is download custom iCarnage, custom iCarnage. That's Will it. Will you show me how do I do custom iCarnage? Let me show you how it's done. So let me show you how this is done. In fact, it is really, really super simple. And that's why I had to do the creative intro to keep you engaged and entertained for a short time. So first thing first, what you wanna do is jump onto the App Store and download Shortcuts. This is Apple's own utility app. It is not third party, okay? Apple created this app. So just download Shortcuts. I'll put a link in the description below. And then once you've done that, um, it's true, look at my home screen. It's looking a mess. Boohoo, your home screen's looking a mess, help me. Because I have told you in the past to delete applications and use Safari's um, web app instead, it starts looking like this, it starts looking like a mess. So how can we start creating custom icons for your home screen? Really, it's really simple. Let me show you the problem though, is if I do go to um, Safari and I go to Sheets for example, I wanna create, um, I wanna create a, uh, a shortcut for Sheets. What I'd normally do then is I'll go to share and I would add to home screen. And then you can call it obviously Google Sheets or whatever you wanna call it here. But can you see this icon? If I add that to my home screen now, look at the state of it. It becomes inconspicuous. I can't find the app that I'm looking for in this mess. So what do I need to do? Really, really simple. Go back to Safari and go to the URL and copy the URL. So copy the web address, okay? So now that you've copied it, what you're gonna do is this. Go to shortcuts. So let's look for shortcuts here and then we're going to create a new shortcut and what we're going to do is we're going to create a web link okay a link to a you to open the url so i'm going to go to web and i'm going to say here open url and then in here all i need to do is type in paste that url that i've got and then i'm going to go to these three dots and i want to give the shortcut a name okay so this is going to be g sheets or you can call it google sheets if you want uh, and then we're going to add it to home screen okay so add it to your home screen Let's change this name here to G Sheets. And we're gonna change the icon, okay? It's a custom icon. Now we can choose our own photo, our custom photo. And from here, I'm gonna choose, I like that how it is. I can pinch and zoom, but I'm just gonna leave that how it is for now. And I'm gonna say, yeah, let's use that one and add it to the home screen. And that's gonna add, I'm gonna press on done. And I'm gonna press here done. And if I see here, I've got this new icon. I tried one earlier on and I forgot to name it. So here's my G Suites icon now. I can take this now and I can put it where I need it on my home screen. So here I've got some custom uh, icons myself. This is YouTube Studio. It takes me straight to my YouTube Studio online, okay, through Safari. Um, that's the actual youtube.com website, so it's not the app. And there's a few more here, GDocs, uh, WhatsApp, Facebook, G Sheets. All of these are custom icons. So you can customize the icons for any application on your iPhone or the iPad and not just bookmarks. So let me show you how to customize any application. So go back to shortcuts and let's create a new shortcut. Uh, and what we're gonna type in here in the search is we're gonna say open app, okay? So click on this multicolored tile and then choose the app that you wanna um, change the icon for. So let's just say the app store, for example, okay? And now if I click on the three dots, I'm gonna name this I'm just gonna call it App Store again. And I'm gonna add it to home screen. Now when I add it to home screen, this is where I can choose any um, icon that I want. App Store, and I'm gonna choose my icon from my library here. Let me just go with this one for now, okay? So I'm just gonna use that as a custom icon. So now it adds it, and let's pray done. So now on my home screen, my App Store looks like a shocked emoji. And you can do that and customize all of your icons in order to get a nice grid of customized clean icons. Now that is really important because look, you don't want to have a messy display like this on your home screen where you can't even filter through and find the app that you're going to be using, okay? Um, anyway, I hope you found that helpful. Give me a like and consider subscribing, turn on notifications. And until next time, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>